here we are. It's definitely fall. We had the lows in the lower 40s this morning. Um, time to get the garlic planted. Now I saved out about, I don't know, 20 or so heads of garlic to, uh, to replant. This whole bed is going to get garlic. I still have some delicata squash growing at the other end. Raked back the straw, exposed the soil, fluffed up the top a couple inches just a little bit, and um, added some fertilizer. I would have loved to have top dressed it with more compost, but my compost guy was out for the fall. I'll have to reorder in the spring. So, um, that's what I'm going to be doing right now is planting garlic. Uh, this is called a head of garlic and this is what I grew this year. It's a long neck variety. Um, not exactly sure what variety it is. I um, have been replanting my garlic for about five or six years now so I have no idea what type it is except that it is a hard neck. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start breaking all these cloves off of, of this head. Lots of paper. These I save out the largest heads of, of garlic that I have. So I'm going to have a huge, huge clove to stick in the ground. I'm counting on about four to five cloves per head. So I'm hoping to get close to a hundred in this bed, but we'll see. Let me um, break off a few of these and I'll be back and we will, sh uh, I'll show you how I plant them. Okay, here we are back again. I took off 10 stalks and I got 30 cloves of garlic. These things are enormous. Look at how large they are. If a recipe called for two cloves of garlic, I think one would be more than enough. Anyway, but you do want the largest heads of garlic because they're the strongest ones. They have the best genetics and the best <clears throat> the best genetics, the best DNA for your growing environment. And that's why it's good to save a few cloves from your previous harvest to put in the ground for next year's harvest because they are very well adapted to your soil and your growing conditions. Okay, so these things are just straight line markers that I use just to kind of keep it in a grid um, I dug my holes or I um, uh, put indentations in the holes anyway, or in the ground where I'm going to plant my, my cloves. Now you're going to plant it in this direction with the pointy side up. This is where the roots are going to grow from. And so you want them to grow out here and you want the new shoots of garlic to come up here. <clears throat> garlic will start growing as soon as you put it in the ground in moist conditions. Um, this, our ground is not going to freeze until perhaps December or January maybe even. So this will continue to grow at a very slow rate, but it'll give it, give it a jump on um, next year's um, harvest. So. That's why we can harvest it in July. So I'm going to start putting these in, pushing them way down. You need to dig a hole about three inches, I think is probably a good depth. And just push it in, root side down, tip side up. And I will be getting all of these into this bed here. They are about, mm, I want to say, four to five inches apart. 
some people like to plant them further apart, some closer together. I feel that four inches is pretty good. I never notice that they come out smaller, that they were crowded. I don't think you can see me on this one, but there we go. So there's our first row. All I have to do is just cover them up. Ooh, big chunk. Just cover them up and I will water them in very nicely. Give them a good, good, good start. I'm going to take all of the straw that was previously on the bed and then cover them up after I give them a nice water. It'll help them keep the weeds suppressed and keep the moisture in and perhaps even give them a little bit of warmth so they can um, get a jump on their growth. But anyways, I have more to do. I may have to dip into my regular garlic stash who knows, uh, if, if 10 heads only gave me 30 cloves, that's three cloves per head. They're gigantic, but they will then give me that amount of heads of garlic next year. You can always count on that. You put in 30 cloves, you're going to get 30 heads. It seems to be that my my individual cloves are enormous. <laughs> so anyway, um, I will continue on doing this and uh, we'll be back in another segment. Here we go. I managed to get in 11 rows with about eight or nine cloves in each row. So that's pretty good. Um, I definitely hoped that I had had more cloves. Um, I have room in this bed for probably about five, four to five more rows. Um, I'm going to see how many more cloves of garlic I have inside. I do like to keep a certain number that will make me through, last me through the year. Anyway, I put the stalks as row markers here from the heads of the garlic. I thought that was pretty cool. That helped me keep a nice um, straight grid pattern. Anyway, so uh, watering it down and then I will take this straw and put it back on top of the bed to keep it warm, keep it moist, and hopefully we'll have sprouts before it frosts. Usually that happens. They start pushing up before it's, it frosts and freezes. Um, for the winter. And then come spring, they will all start renewed vigor and push on up. And on about July, I'll be harvesting garlic again. Here we are, bright fall afternoon, um, enjoying the sunshine. And if you can see, we've got some girls out here wanting to come into the garden. That's why I have a little fence to keep them out of the garden. <laughs> there are still things that they could avail themselves out of. I just wanted to sit here next to my, my fall crop of broccoli. I am so jazzed about the fact that this looks so great. And I'm desperately hoping that it holds on to give me something this year. Um, if you see, I've got a volunteer tomato plant here. Came up from the compost, obviously. But anyway, um, I ended up with the garlic, planting another five, no, excuse me, four rows, watered it in, topped it off with the straw, a little bit of new straw, and hopefully that it's going to give me um, a great crop. I have no doubt we will get a great crop next fall. But I did have to deep dig into my stash of garlic. So I'm hoping it'll make me through to next 
summer next July. Um, I'm, I'm doubting it because they use a lot of garlic. Anyway, that's why I'm, I'm assured, hopefully, this year I've planted, um, uh, what is that, 15 rows times at least a minimum of eight. Um, that should give me a pretty good crop. Anyway, um, this next harvest that I'm looking forward to would be the sweet potato harvest. And here's some of the sweet potatoes right here. Um, these are Japanese yams. They're a white potato, white sweet potato. Uh, been doing my, my research on, on how and when and where and, and whatnot and how I harvest them. So that'll probably be coming up in the next video. But anyway, thank you for joining me. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, turn on your notifications when you want to see another video that comes up. I usually do one a week, maybe sometimes two if I decide to do a cooking video. Have a few things in mind. So you'll just have to stay tuned and hopefully I can get something in and up for that. Anyway, thank you for joining me and we will see you next week.